the time has come, the walrus said. All right, we have healed up our Pokemon. Is this the trainer school Don was talking about? It sure is. I mean, we know what we're doing, but I'll go here anyway. I think there may actually be some battles worth fighting, so hey. Time to get Camillo some XP, huh? Uh, hey, Barry, how's it going? Hey, Jockey, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it is the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Jockey, what brings you? Huh? You've got something for me? Yeah, we were supposed to deliver this. I actually forgot about that. That was back in part one. So, what's this? Score! It's a town map! Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Jockey, you take one. Alright, got ourselves a town map. Although, isn't the town map just, like, the whole region map? In that way, town map seems kind of misleading, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, according to this town map, I guess Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around! Oh, we're not gonna battle you here? Alright. This is what I'm talking about, where the rival doesn't hold as much presence as Gen 1 or 2 rivals did. Where not only would they pop out of absolutely nowhere, but they would just immediately want to battle you and they'd whoop your ass. Barry, we gotta go up and deliver shit to him. And then he doesn't even want to fight. Wally, Wally's a special case. He's not really a rival as much as he is just a downtrodden child. Doing is the best way to learn. Can we get a battle with you? Sure. Go, my Pokemon, go. All right, I knew there were battles in here. You know, one thing I'll give Barry credit for is that he is trying to get through this game as quickly as he can, which is admirable, considering, you know, this game is pretty damn slow. I don't know if you notice this, the animations, the... The health bar is going down when we do damage. Oh, this thing actually has a move instead of teleport. Hidden power. And here I was thinking this was easy XP. Uh, Camillo? Ow, oh, that was a crit, you fucker. Damn it. Oh, I'm not gonna get him any XP in this then. We can give it to Weird Al. I mean, hidden power is kind of scary in a level 6 Abra either way. Uh, let's go Ringo, because we have quick attack. And we're probably gonna need it to outspeed an Abra. Its physical defense is probably not so good. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Nice job, Ringo. Uh-oh. How much is this gonna do here? Uh, Jesus. All right, we gotta go back to the center after just this one battle. Will this be enough to do the second half? Oh, come on. And, of course, Hidden Power is gonna finish this off. I guess then uh, Ringo's going down, and we're gonna attempt to give all of the XP off of this Abra to Al. Sure, why not? Your foe's weak, get him out. You got it. Tackle attack. Oh, well, first we gotta live a hidden power. We'll see if we do. I mean, Camillo did not. Well, granted, we're pretty beefy, right? We're a beefy boy. Yeah! We took that better than Ringo did, and Ringo's a level higher. Beefy indeed, Al. Beefy indeed. I'm going to get you that level up. Good to know that if I need something to switch into, you could take a hit. In case we're doing some switch training, perhaps. It's hard to win if you don't have some Pokemon to choose from. Yeah, you only had the one Abra, but boy, it was a pretty strong Abra. I would worry about if I was doing a Nuzlocke and going up against that kid. Granted, if I was doing a Nuzlocke, I probably would have done a bit more training up to that point, huh? Of course, there's one other person to battle here, and I do want to get Camillo some XP. I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if we can do this properly, but may we battle? Let's see what you got here, school kid. Christine, I guess. Uh, also an Abra. Also probably has hidden power, let's be honest. This might just be the exact same battle. Uh, in that case, Camillo, I'm gonna ask you to get the hell out of here as we switch into Al, who can take hits pretty damn well. You know, just the fact that we have... Oh god, you critting fuck. Oh, well that's unfortunate. Never mind, Al's not gonna take this well at all. Um, at least we'll get a free switch into whatever, which I'm probably gonna do... Uh, cleave. I just want to say, though, this first trainer battle here, showing you an Abra and showing it beat the fuck out of you, instead of just constantly spam teleport and make it easy XP, that's a good precedent that Gen 4 is setting, that this is kind of reinventing the wheel of Pokemon. Not only with the uh, kind of move special orientation that had taken place, but also with the moves Pokemon know or can learn. There's a lot of changes in regards to certain evolution types. Gen 4 really took the reins of the series and ran in a direction. Now, whether you're a fan of the direction Gen 4 took things, it's up to you. I think it worked out pretty well, and this would kind of define the era of Pokemon for at least the next two generations, I'd argue. Also, hey, Camillo got that level up just from the Switch Train XP. Nice. Well, Cleave almost did as well. It's convenient we don't have many Pokemon to catch, given, you know, it's a Let's Play where I'm only going to use the six on the team. 
Uh, so we don't have to spend really any money on Pokeballs, which I guess isn't very different from how I typically play games, is it? I mean, I mean, maybe I'll substitute one or two things, and I'll probably change things up in post-game, but typically I don't actually go out to catch them all. I do it sometimes, but it's kind of rare. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh? You call yourself a Pokemon trainer, and yet you have no Poketch? That is Pokemon Watch, or Poketch for short. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see... I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I'm now conducting the Poketch promotional campaign, I see. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. If you can find them, I'll gift you with a Poketch. Sure, we'll do your clown game here. Hi, I'm a Poketch campaign. Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and getting XP points? Yes, you're absolutely correct. Pokemon grow stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Okay, yeah, it's more trivia on how to play Pokemon games. And the three clowns are each going to give us a coupon we can bring back to... Um, what's his name salesman down there? Oh, here's another clown just outside this place. I'm Poketch Campaign Clown. Can a Pokemon hold an item? Of course it can. I accidentally answered <laughs> before I even got the question there because I was just smashing A to get through the dialogue. Oh, he gave us Poketch Coupon 3. Where's Coupon 2? I missed a clown somewhere along the way. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not going to let me go through there, are you? Have you participated in the Poketch Campaign? He's got, he's got workers on the edges of town. He won't let you leave until you be a part of his ad campaign. My god. Hi, you're the last one. What's your question? Just like Pokemon types, the moves of Pokemon also have types. That's correct. All of the answers are correct. You really can just mash A through all the dialogue. That may have changed in Platinum. I can't recall. Uh, and he's also explaining Stab. That's nice. Hey, I mean, I can't recall any other instances in, in a previous Pokemon game where Stab had been explained, but I don't know. I, can't, I tend to skip through dialogue in some of these games. Let me count your coupons. I'll use the Poketch here. Y you can use the Poketch to count my coupons? I'm just holding them in my hand. You can do it. It's three things. One, two, three. Bravo, I say. Bravo. It's always when they're trying to sell something, they'll show the most mundane thing you can use it for. Like, that makes me think back to when the Apple Watch was kind of a new product. And they're like, look, you can read your text messages, like, or check the time without having to pull your phone out of your pocket. And it's like, I mean... First of all, a regular watch can do that, but also it really isn't that much of an inconvenience to just look at the time on my phone. I don't know, I'm just thinking back at the sketch Smosh made about it. In return for these coupons, I'll present you this Pokemon watch, a Poketch for short. Uh, yeah, so this is what functions as the bottom screen kind of hub. You can add apps to your Poketch to make it even more versatile. Touch the Poketch screen and please do try it out. So right now it just says the time, which is in military time, interestingly enough. Oh boy, we have a calculator. Yeah... And no one is surprised. Uh, what else do we have in this thing? Ah, uh, yes, we have... Um, what does this do again? Oh, this counts every step we take and we can reset it with this. Ah, uh, yes. That's actually kind of good for, like, if you're shiny hunting and you need to know how many steps you've taken. You want to track your progress. Although I'm not doing any shiny hunting myself, so I think we'll be fine in that regard. Uh, the, usually what I just have is my team, because I want to know... What I have on my team, I want to know how their health is without having to go through the menu. So I actually like this feature, I'll admit. And I like the little black and green screen down there. That reminds me of the old Game Boy, doesn't it? Anyway, now that we did the little clown thing in Jubilife City, first off, I'm going to go to the Pokemart here, because we have yet to go to a Pokemart this whole playthrough, and we're already in part three, goddammit. I'll buy a couple Pokeballs just in case, because I do have another Pokemon in mind. And, uh, do we have any potions? We don't have any potions! My god, I'll buy five. Surely we have at least an antidote, right? No, we don't have an antidote! What was I gonna do if I got poisoned? Oh my god. I'll buy five of those too. How about paralyze heals? I really had no items. Alright, I'm gonna spend all my money to get five potions, five antidotes, and five paralyzed heals. Because I, I'd like to prepare myself for the journey ahead, after all. So, going north of Jubilife City here. What do we have here? This is Route 204, that's right. Oh, <laughs> we have to go in between the town and Route Nordic. Is it this part of it? But, I, oh, I love the music here. Oh, I love it so much. I, well, <laughs> there's a paralyzed heal for us. I'm gonna look around in the grass here for a particular Pokemon I have in mind. If I can find it... That's just Bidoof again. Oh, I'm leading with Camillo still. Hold on, uh, let's... Let's switch try and kill this Bidoof here with Cleave. And then, you know what, I'm gonna lead with our Starly in these, uh, wild encounters, looking for what I'm looking for. There we go, got this Bidoof. This will actually probably be a level up for Cleave, right? Yeah, Camillo's gonna get some XP, but not enough to level up. No new moves or anything, but that's okay. It's just level 9 after all. We're still getting along. And yeah, let's re lead with Ringo. Let's see what we can find here in Route 204. Uh, that's another Starly. 
Let's just run away and cycle through until I find what I'm looking for. Mmm, Bidoof again. I'm worried now that it might be a time of day kind of thing, and it may be too late in the afternoon. I really hope that's not the case. I don't think it is. Surely they wouldn't... Right? Oh, man. Uh, okay, thank God it's here. Now, Badoo is a very interesting case because, you know, in, in previous generations they'd added baby forms and they'd added further evolutions. Gen 3 kind of strayed away from that. Gen 4 really leaned into that, but they also aimed to kind of reinvent a lot of Pokemon. So, Badoo here is a pre-evolution added for Roselia, the Gen 3 Pokemon. Also, there's a further evolution that we'll get later on in the series, which I'm really looking forward to. It won't be easy, but we'll get it eventually. And so this will be my grass-type coverage for the playthrough here. But he's using growth, that's right. This is also uh, one of the many Pokemon evolutions which evol evolves through friendship, like most baby Pokemon. It's just a little weird how you can find this in the wild and don't have to breed for it. I guess they wanted to have a grass-type early on that was kind of new for the generation, even if its middle form is an older Pokemon. So kind of like back in the Gen 2 playthrough how I used a Horsey or a Seedra. Even though those are Gen 1 Pokemon, because eventually got Kingdra, which is brand new. Badoo Zeta was added to the Pokedex. It's a Grass Poison type, the Bud Pokemon. Although it eventually evolved, of course, we already know, into Roselia, and then another Rose Pokemon. I'm naming this Pokemon here after someone who is hoping to one day make a song that involves roses, but hasn't yet. So, you know, this will make sense someday. In the meantime, I'm gonna go back and heal my team real quick. And, you know, up here in Route 204, we got some more trainers to fight. This is a perfect opportunity to get some XP. Oh, weak-looking trainer. Wow! Calling me out. How dare you lash Sarah with your Bidoof and only a Bidoof. I got five Pokemon. What the hell is your Bidoof going to do against us? That's not an actual challenge. I realize this Bidoof is actually pretty damn strong. It's level 7 after all, so I'm going to take this pretty carefully. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that did seven damage. We can take one more, and then Ringo's got to get out of there. And in the meantime, we're doing that damage with Quick Attack, which is Stab. Uh, hold on, Ringo. Ooh, yeah, let's go. Uh, like we said, Al is a good switch in, because Al is defense. Although this is really just stronger Al we're looking at right here. Okay, and you're lowering our attack. Damn it. Ugh. You know what, Al? Just focus on lowering theirs, at least for now. Because if we can withstand their hits, and they can withstand ours, that's okay. We may switch back into Ringo, and we'll take hits better now that we're lowering their attack. Let's see... From 6 damage... You still did 6 damage even though I lowered your attack. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So I'm gonna lower it again. Can you just growl me while I'm growling you? No, you're doing damage. Uh Fuck it. <laughs> Banzai. Just take, take down the enemy attack and, and just let it be. Oh, you're growling us again? Mmm, you're tempting me. You're tempting me. Growl again, I don't care. We're gonna lower your attack like hell. Because now I feel more comfortable about switching back into Ringo. Oh, you're still growling us. What has this become? We're just two beatups yelling at each other. <laughs> we can do one more growl. I'll go for it. I'll go for it. Maybe we'll live at a tackle at this point after six growls. We'll see. I kind of doubt it, though. Um... Yeah, not quite, not quite. Okay, before it did 7 damage, after 6 growls, surely it won't do 5. So I'm confident in bringing back Ringo, whose attack is now back to what it was. We haven't been growled, so we're going to do more damage with quick attack. Maybe we can outpace this Bidoof. Oh, jeez, that did so little. And you're growling us again, you bitch. Keep going, Ringo, do what you can. Uh, ah, it's little by little. Little by very little. We're gonna live that. Oh, it did one. Okay. I think we actually can outpace this Bidoof. We got it, Ringo. Come on. Uh, oh, it's in the red. It's in the red. You're growling again. <laughs> you, know, what is this battle? It's just a very strong, very angry Bidoof. Clearly, I need to do some grinding, I guess. Oh, God, we're in the red. Okay. Hold on, Ringo. You can do it. Finish this Bidoof. Finish the fight. Yeah. All right. 87 XP just for Ringo. That's gotta be a level up, right? Yeah, all right. Can we get a flying type move by chance? No, no flying type move. Hey, we almost got another level up though. That's nice. You know what? We'll switch trainer to the next trainer and probably get another one that way. Uh, you there? Let's go. My dad gave me some Pokemon. They're gonna win for me. Oh, you spoiled kid. We don't even have a father in the context of this game. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
I know I said I was going to switch train with Ringo. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about switching out for this one. <laughs> yep. Okay. They may have given Abra a special little TM in the trainer school. Magikarp is still Magikarp. It's, it, it will always be Magikarp. They tried making a Magikarp archetype with Feebess that really didn't go anywhere and no one cared for. It, it, they could not replace Magikarp. They never will. And, and they never even try again in any later generation as far as I see it. Magikarp is Magikarp. You got 21 XP. Hey, there's the level up for Ringo. Level 7. Next up we have Starly. Um, let's switch in Camillo into... And then go into Cleave after we do a bit of damage. Because yeah, I think half the XP off the Starly will probably be a level up for Camillo here. Our only move is Tackle. Boy. Hey, at least we dodged theirs. Let's go, Camillo. We're spry. We're fast. We're the best. Well, okay, we did a little bit of damage, but you know, and their quick attack is stab, so I don't know about this. Uh, uh, I'll stay in for one more quick attack hitting us, but that's about as much as I'm willing to take. Mm, tackle. Yeah, we got to get out. Unless you crit here, Camillo. Can you crit? No. All right, fine. We'll switch with Cleave. We'll split the XP. That's fine. I guess Cleave could use the XP as well. After all, level 9 isn't crazy high, considering we had a level 7 trainer Pokemon just earlier. I do find, and this is just my own personal observation, having only played this game at one time before, or beaten at one time before, I think Gen 4 is one of the tougher generations. For various reasons. I mean, we've already talked about it, how it's a bit slower. Um, but there's a lot of reasons that go into it, I'd say. So we'll see how this playthrough goes, how much grinding I have to do. Hey, we learned Leer. I mean, that'll be ideal for Bidoofs with their high defense stat, after all. I should say abnormally high-level Bidoofs, like yours, Missy. I'm gonna go back and heal. Also, you know what? Let's actually take a quick peek at the town map. Uh, so we need to go next to... Oh, that's Floroma Town. We need to go next to Orberg City. So I'm going north right now, but actually we want to go to the east. And then also there's this way over here to Canalave City, which I don't think we can go that way yet. Yeah. This is the Sinnoh region, huh? This is, uh, uh, once again based in Japan, just like the first three generations all were. And it would be the last main series Pokemon game to be based in a region of Japan. I mean, there's only so many areas of Japan you can really cover, I guess. And frankly, I think changing the country of inspiration for later generations would greatly benefit pretty much every other generation as it came along. In terms of the kind of Pokemon they'd have, the inspired setting, you know, just overall. Oh, what am I doing? Let's go east!